I live in the dirt civilization and every single day the dirt officer comes and collects dirt taxes. People that live in the dirt civilization spend their days mining dirt with wooden shovels. And every morning we have to give all of our dirt to the dirt officer. It's the only way we can get new shovels and food. And once people in the dirt civilization mine enough dirt, they can go on to the next civilization. The living conditions in dirt civilization are absolutely terrible. Everything's made out of dirt and we only have one chest. Eventually, I want to get out of this civilization because I'll also get more hearts. Outside of all of our houses, we have these signs that tell us exactly how much dirt we need to mine to get to the next civilization. I only have 10,000 dirt mined and I need to mine 100,000 dirt to go up to the next civilization. The dirt officer randomly called a surprise meeting. Thank you all for coming to this meeting. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity citizens. There will be a level up event tomorrow 2000 blocks east. If you are one minute late, you will be banished. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity and I could finally get out of the dirt civilization without mining 100,000 more blocks. I finally arrived and I was almost late, but I got here just in time when he started to explain the rules. The rules are simple. You will all be digging until you find the crystal. Once you find it, alert me immediately. You can start as soon as I light this firework off. I had a different plan. As soon as he lit the firework off, I decided to run up to him. The police officers were known for taking bribes for dance moves because they were super weird. If I do a dance move, will you give me an advantage over the others? Hmm, let's see what you got. I instantly pulled out my best dance move and hoped that he would like it. He wasn't saying anything, so I started to get worried, but he ended up pulling out a netherite shovel and giving it to me. Now that I have a netherite shovel, this means I dig way faster than the other civilians. I instantly started digging and hoped to find the crystal before the others. After a few minutes of digging, I started to get worried because it was taking forever and I was worried that the others already found it. But I just kept digging, hoping to find the purple crystal. But after a few more minutes of digging, I finally found it. It popped into the corner of my eye and I must have went past it somehow. As soon as I found it, I didn't even want to touch it because I didn't know what it did. So I immediately alerted the officer like he said. Good job, peasant. You found that faster than expected. Maybe you have what it takes to advance to the next civilization. Take this crystal and travel 40,000 blocks north to the border. I was kind of confused. I didn't know what he meant by maybe I have what it takes to level up. I was under the impression that when I found the crystal, I would instantly level up to the next civilization. Whatever though, I'll do whatever it takes to get out of the dirt civilization. After days of traveling, I finally arrived to the border. There was this weird portal with beacons at it. There was also three people waiting for me, which was really weird. Once I got close though, the guards instantly pulled out their bows. I was super scared, but as soon as I put the crystal in my hand, they instantly pulled their bows away. So I slowly started to walk towards this wizard looking fella. Hand over the crystal right now. The officers warned me of your arrival and told me you were bringing something very valuable. I'm surprised you made it all this way. You may go through the portal now. Well, that was super weird. I don't know what that wizard was talking about. What is this place? It looks like a weird tower with an arrow pointing upwards. I'm assuming I have to get to the top of this tower somehow. There was two paths, right and left, but I decided to go up the left path. This place was extremely dark and scary, and I didn't know what was in store for me. I got to this room with a ladder in it, so I decided to go up. Once I got to the top of the ladder, there was another choice between turning right or left, but I decided to go up the left path again. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do in here, but there's cobwebs and stuff hanging from the ceiling everywhere. I got to another room, and there was weird parkour jumps all along the walls. And there was a door blocked off from the other side and I was wondering if I could get through somehow. But it looks like I'm forced to do some parkour. Doing parkour is extremely risky for me because I only have one heart. Any little fall could end up killing me. The parkour was relatively easy so I got through it pretty quickly. But I noticed at the top of the parkour on the other side there was another ladder. I decided not to risk it and just go through the door right behind me. I was curious though and wondered if I needed to get over there or not but I assumed that there would be another right or left decision and hopefully it would bring me to the ladder. And I was right, it was another decision and I decided to keep going left. I ended up being right, the ladder was over there and there was a secret chest right here. Once I opened it, there was a weird tablet inside. I decided to keep it just in case I needed it later on. Coming up, there was a huge parkour jump that I needed to make to get to that ladder. If I fell, I would instantly die. I've never done parkour jumps like this before, but I made it super easily. In this next room, there was a weird slime block in the middle with water going up to the ceiling. I was guessing I needed to go up this water and then jump on that slime block to the next room. I was right, but unfortunately that means I have to make another extremely risky jump with one heart. I needed to take my time on this because if I miss that slime block by an inch, I will instantly die. 
I lined myself up perfectly and decided that I was just going to sprint and not jump. That was extremely risky, and I'm hoping I'm getting close to the top. Across the way, there's another chest over there, but I don't think I can make the slime block to the other room. I'm not going to go for that chest. I'm going to go left, up the stairway again, and hope that chest comes up somewhere. I really hope there's no more parkour jumps, because this is getting too risky. Now I'm in this weird room with weird purple trees and a sign. There's also a portal in the middle with another chest over by this corner. The chest had a bunch of loot in it, so I decided to just take it all. I was hoping that I would need all of this for the future, so I needed to keep it all. I read the sign and it said drop the tablet. I'm assuming they're talking about the tablet I grabbed from the other chest downstairs, so I dropped it into the portal. Nothing happened, so I looked around the room just to see if anything changed. Nothing ended up changing, so I thought my only option was to jump through the portal. Whoa, did I finally make it? Is this actually the stone civilization? Quick, take this and hide it! That was super weird. What the heck was all that about? Stop running or you will be banished! Well, that's a weird start to being in the stone civilization. I wonder why that girl gave me all of these random items. That's super weird. Sorry about that. Stuff like that doesn't usually happen. Anyways, congratulations and welcome to the stone civilization. Let me show you to your house. This place looked way nicer than the dirt civilization. You know the drill. Similar to the dirt civilization, you will need to mine 100,000 stone to advance to the next civilization. Also, please drop me all of your belongings from the dirt civilization. Okay, here you go. Thank you, peasant. I saw you talking to that runaway fugitive when you arrived. If you are caught with any illegal items, you will be banished immediately. I will be back in a few with your new tools. Okay, sounds good. For some reason, I decided to keep the items that the runaway girl dropped me. I had a gut feeling that they would be super important. I needed to figure out a spot to hide them immediately before he came back. I had no time though and he was already on his way back to my house. Hopefully it's just for my new tools. Here you go little bro. This is your new tool. I will come to collect stone taxes tomorrow. So if you want food and a new tool, be ready. That was way too close. I need to hide these items immediately. I escaped the dirt civilization about a week ago and the stone civilization is honestly even worse. I basically do the same thing every day. Here comes the officer now. You know the drill. To get food and a new pickaxe, give me 600 cobblestone. Even though I gained a heart getting into the stone civilization, the conditions are way worse here. Instead of actual food, they give us rotten flesh. It's the same as the dirt civilization. I need to mine 100,000 cobblestone to get to the next civilization. It's extremely repetitive and I can't keep doing this. Weird stuff happens here all of the time. And they have extremely strict rules ever since that girl ran away. Whatever though, I'm just gonna keep mining. What the heck? Why'd you just hit me? Hey, I saw you take those items when you got here. Today there will be a level up event. Don't go to it and take those items to the northeast corner. That girl's crazy. Why would I not go to a level up event so I can get out of this civilization? And how would she even know there's an event? Those are completely random. What's going on out here? Wait a second. Was that girl right? Citizens, there will be a level up event later today 500 blocks north. You will have the chance to get to the next civilization. Be there or be square. I can't believe that girl was right. I think I'm going to listen to her. I hid the items the runaway girl gave me under my floor. This is probably a dumb idea, but I'm going to take these items to the northeast corner. That took forever, but I finally made it. Who are these people? And how do they have dirt blocks? These are illegal. I should probably turn around, but this could be my ticket out of here. Hello? What are you guys doing out here? Welcome! I see you have some illegal items on you. Mind if I take a look? Um, sure. Here you go. Ah, I see. You must be friends with Katie. We are the Runaways. We are trying to escape the civilization world because it never ends. You can get us all out of here. Take this bucket to the north wall. When you get there, build to the ceiling and you will know what to do. This guy seems sketchy and it sounds like his name would be Rick. But I had no other choice. The civilization leaders are going to know that I've been missing. This is basically my only option to get out of the civilization world like this guy was saying. Hope these people just aren't crazy. Wait, you're gonna need to take this cauldron with you. Okay, I'm gonna throw you guys under the bus if you guys get me in trouble. I've been running so much, but I finally made it. Stop running now. You're going to be banished. Stop right there. You're gonna have to catch me. I got nothing to lose. I doubt they're carrying blocks on them, so once I get to this wall, hopefully I can stack up and get away from them. What the heck? Why are they so angry? They have bow and arrows and they're shooting at me. Their aim is terrible, though. I need to get out of range right now. I only have two hearts, and if one arrow hits me, I will instantly die. 
I finally made it to the top, and they're still down there trying to shoot me with arrows. I still have no idea what I'm doing, but I see these stalactites up here dripping water. I think I know what I have to do. I have to use this cauldron and fill it up with water, and then once it's full, I use the bucket and grab it. This is going to take a while, and I'm worried that they're going to start climbing up to me. And I have no idea how I'm going to get down and get the water to the runaways, because they're just going to be waiting for me down there. I have time to think, though, before this fills up, so hopefully they don't catch up to me. It's finally done. That took hours. Now I just need to use my bucket and get the water out of it. Wait a second. They went and got blocks and now they're coming up to me. They're getting super close, but I had a lot of time to think up here and I have a 200 IQ idea to get rid of them. I just need to mine three of these stalactites, one per person. Now that they're mined, I just create this little contraption and wait till they get a little bit closer. I'm running out of time though and they're coming up quick. Now that they're close enough, I just have to place the stalactites right above their heads and break the blocks. I didn't think this would end up killing them, I just kind of wanted to scare them away. But I'm in way too deep now and I need to get back to the runaways ASAP. That took forever, but I finally made it. I'm definitely the most wanted person in the entire civilization, so we need to get out of here ASAP. I got the bucket of water, now what? You idiot, you took days and everyone knows about what happened to those officers. We need to get these trees planted right away. Officers will be looking for us, so we need to build a wall as well. Okay, I can help with the wall, but can you please tell me what our plan is? It's been weeks and he finally told me the plan. We used the saplings to grow trees so we could get wood and food. There's a myth that if you keep digging through the wall, you'll eventually get out of the civilization world. So we've been making tons of wood pickaxes so we can make it through. Listen, before we make our escape, we are going to get as many civilians we can. If we don't return, leave without us. You are the chosen one. It's been days and they still have not returned. I'm contemplating leaving. Wait, I think I see them coming. Is that them in the distance? Wait a second. Those are officers. I need to make my escape right now. I quickly ran to our chest where we've been storing all of our pickaxes we've been making and I grabbed as many as I could. I picked a direction to mine in and I just started digging. I placed blocks behind me hoping they wouldn't notice and hopefully they don't have pickaxes either. I don't really know what to do. I think I'm just going to keep mining in a straight line. Hopefully this takes me out of the civilization world. I escaped the stone civilization and I've been mining for days. I'm almost out of wooden pickaxes, so I need to find somebody soon. I finally saw someone's name tag and I started to dig to them. I hope they have more pickaxes and hopefully they have some food on them too. Oh my gosh, finally I found someone. I escaped the dirt civilization weeks ago and have been digging ever since. Stone civilization weeks ago as well. I'm almost out of pickaxes, so we need to keep digging. Hopefully we find something soon because I'm running out of food as well. We've been digging for super long and our pickaxes are almost broken, but we finally dug into something. There was a ton of people in this weird cave, including the officer from the stone civilization. I knew you would make it. You are the chosen one. You need to use all of these materials to make a vehicle and travel to the cloud council. We don't know how to make the vehicle, so you are the last hope. Once it's built, you need to use it and find the tesseract. After you find it, you need to travel to one of the civilizations and put it in all four corners. Once that is done, it will free everyone from being civilization slaves. We've reached the surface world. This is where you will need to build the vehicle. You need to be quick. We don't have much time before they find us. I literally have no idea what he's talking about, and I don't know why he thinks I can build a vehicle. This is my first time ever seeing the real world. I was born in the civilization world, and I only heard rumors of this place's existence. Well, I guess I need to collect all of these materials and start building. I've never seen a creeper before in my life. I actually had no idea what it did, but I knew that they blew up because of the rumors. In the civilization world, there was no monsters or animals because of the console. Thankfully, I made a wooden sword earlier just because I thought this might happen. I guess I just need to pick up all of these blocks and start building. I finally got all the blocks, but I still am super lost on what I need to build. Can you help me out a little bit? I think you need to build some sort of rocket ship missile. I've seen them on TV before. I can try, but I have literally no idea how it's going to make it all the way to the clouds. You finally did it. It took forever, but it looks good. Do you think it will work? I haven't tested it yet, but hopefully. I'm going to get on top of it, and you're going to have to click the lever and stay down here. You need to find a hiding spot because it's going to be super loud, and it's going to alert people of our position. Click the lever. I'm ready to go. I can't believe it's actually working. I was not confident in this at all. I guess I just need to sit here and wait until I get to the cloud console. I have no idea where I'm going or what this place looks like, so hopefully this thing stops at the cloud. Finally, this took hours and I'm out of food. It looks like we're inside of a cloud, but this thing's about to blow up so I need to back off. I'm 
Okay, I guess I built it wrong and it didn't work. This must be the cloud console. I don't know if I'm supposed to go talk to this guy, but this place seems super weird. How did you get here? No one's ever made it this far before. You will never find the Tesseract. It's hidden somewhere in the cloud realm. Arrest him, Sigma Knights. I need to run away right now and find a hiding spot. Hopefully my pickaxe will work in here because we're in a literal cloud right now. I think I'm far enough away, so I'm starting to dig down. I don't know why, but he literally told me that the Tesseract was hidden in the clouds for some reason. So I guess I'm just going to keep digging around until I find it. I don't have any idea what it looks like though. Finally, I dug into something other than just cloud. As I was running around, I found something purple. It looked like the crystal from when I was in the dirt civilization. This has to be the Tesseract. Nothing else in here looks like this. When I broke it, it also gave me four shards. So this is what I think he means by putting it in four corners. I don't really know how to get out of here, so I'm just going to dig straight down and hopefully I fall out the bottom. I'm praying that there's going to be water wherever I end up, but this is my only option to get out of here. Thankfully there was water, and I'm pretty close to where I took off. Now I just need to go run around and find that girl. I landed pretty close to where we launched that missile from, and the girl was still here. I made it, and I think I found the Tesseract. I don't know what the Tesseract looks like either, but hopefully this is it. Now we just need to go find one of the civilizations and put it in its corners. I think this is it. It looks super weird under the water, and it's super flat. This has to be one of the civilizations, and they hid it under the ground. I'm going to break through, and when I go down there, you're going to have to stay up here and keep guard. I can use the water as a ladder to go all the way down to the bottom. I'm going to run to every single corner super quick and place the Tesseract. This looks like it's the stone civilization that I escaped from. I don't know if it's the same one or not because there's multiple civilizations out there. Once I made it down, I went straight to one of the corners and dropped one of the shards. This is going to take a super long time because the civilizations are giant, but I went corner to corner dropping each shard in them. I needed to be super careful because if I got spotted, I would get arrested immediately. This must be the exact same civilization that I escaped from earlier. This corner literally had the camp we used to make wooden pickaxes and escape. This is the last corner, so hopefully when I drop it, something happens. The ground immediately started shaking and the roof disappeared. I think this means that it worked and I freed the civilization. Now people can use their blocks, stack up, and get to the real world. If it worked correctly, this means that every civilization, the roof should have disappeared. Now people are no longer slaves and go back to living in the real world.